Importing your zero data into Dry Run is really straightforward, but also very powerful. In this demo company, you can see that we have two scenarios, a cash flow scenario and a sales forecast. And you can tell by the zero logo next to the titles that they're both connected to zero and we have data imported into both of those scenarios. So to import your zero data into Dry Run, first you need to connect your Dry Run account to your zero account. If you click on the email at the top of the screen, that will take you to your account screen. And on the left side, you'll see integrations. Click connect, log into your Xero account, select the organization, and authorize Dry Run to access your Xero data. And as you can see, I'm now connected to my Xero account, and I can see what organization I've connected, in case I'm jumping back and forth between different organizations within my Dry Run account. So here's a brand new forecast that I've created. And again, I've made a single scenario called cash flow and a second scenario called sales forecast. To import data into individual scenarios, hover over the scenario title and click on the settings icon. There you'll see the zero logo. And so now you can decide what you want to import into this scenario. Now you can see the bills that have been imported into Dry Run from zero. And you can see a couple of bills are late. The bills that have no icon beside them are already marked as paid in zero. And we have quite a number of bills here that we're going to have to pay in the future. If we open up our receivables and look at our invoices, it's going to be really similar to our bills. We'll be able to see invoices that have already been paid. That means we've already received the cash and have it in our account. We can also see invoices that are late, and we're going to want to follow up with our clients about those. And the invoices with the green dots are unpaid, but not yet overdue. Now Dry Run will also show partial payments, as you can see here. This invoice has been split into three parts. The first was paid in month one, the second portion in month two, and by adding an expected date in month three, it's not yet marked as overdue, but we know we still are expecting this cash to come into our business. So Dry Run will show all of your invoices and bills based on their due date, unless you use the expected date in invoices or the plan date in bills, that will override the due date. And when the invoice or bill is finally paid, Dry Run will use the paid date to lock down that item. Now one last thing about the items in Dry Run. When you bring them in from zero, you can adjust anything in Dry Run. So if I decided I wanted to bump this date back to September, I can change that item and it'll move over in Dry Run. But rest assured, it will not affect your data in zero. But once this item is paid and marked as paid in zero, or any other change is made in zero and you refresh Dry Run, it will then update this item to the changes you've made in zero. So zero will always override Dry Run when there's a change, but otherwise, any changes made in Dry Run will stay as is. And finally, to refresh your data, just click on Refresh Data when you enter your forecast, and it'll grab the latest data from Zero and make sure you're right up to date. And if you have any questions, contact us through the chat bubble in Dry Run, and we'll get back to you as quick as possible.